Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 24th, 2021. Today, the House Rules Committee added an amendment to the bill, adding even more spending on top of the $1.9 trillion price tag of the stimulus bill. This amendment includes spending for foreign aid, tribal assistance, the National Science Foundation, and the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Most uh, certainly items that Republicans decry as a liberal wish list. Unrelated to COVID-19, which is basically going to be unrelated to COVID-19, which is what we keep hearing over and over again from the Republicans last year, all last year. Especially about the HEROES Act that came out after the CARES Act that was $3 trillion. And it's like, no, 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 too much, too much. They just whined too much. Um, but it's not like the Republicans' voice count since we are dealing with a uh, Reconciliation Act that just requires a simple vote to pass. Only 50 votes need to pass that one. But the voices of the moderate Democrats, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, will matter very much to the Democrats trying to pass this bill through reconciliation and adding even more to this bill will make it even tougher to pass. A lot tougher to pass because come on, it's 1.9 trillion and we already know that uh, we have uh, all the Republicans whining about it, but these moderate Democrats that are actually in deep red states, basically in Republican states, their jobs are at risk if they try to like jack it up that's why they're whining about the 15 hour, hour minimum wage but that's a different story <laughs> the senate parliamentary parliament parliamentarian so i can't reset word that well elizabeth mcdonough is considering arguments on the reconciliation bill today it was reported that the meeting ended at noon which means we may get a ruling from her on whether or not the minimum wage provision and other Conservative issues can be included in this reconciliation bill. It'll be done later today or tomorrow sometime, but I'm guessing since it's almost like 9 o'clock p.m., we'll probably get the news about that tomorrow. Um, the White House indicated that it will continue the minimum wage increase whether or not it makes it onto the relief bill. But Biden is facing pressure from progressives who see this as the best opportunity to pass that bill, that kind of legislation, but it is most likely there will be any Republicans getting on board. As I've heard, as you guys know, the Republicans don't really see increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour. They want to increase it to $10 an hour. As I reported about Mitt Romney and Cotton, how they just want to increase it to $10 an hour up by 2025, which isn't really that good. All they need is all 48 Democrat votes, the two independent votes, with the tiebreaker from Camila Harris. But if the um, parliamentarian rules that the minimum wage cannot be included in this bill and Democrat leaders don't push to overrule her decision on this, this would need to be taken up with the normal legislation at some point in the future. And we would need at least 10 of the Republican votes for this to pass. And so basically, if she does not like this uh, minimum wage thing, she can take it out. And they're going to try to pass, they'll try to pass it later on in legislation and most likely fail because they won't get the 10 Republican votes that they need to get it passed. Isn't that nice, right? And Democrats want to bring back earmarks. They plan on reviving earmarks. An earmark is a process by which legislation can direct federal spending to their home districts, they are hoping that it will solve two issues they will have in the new Congress, basically. The first issue is keeping the narrow majority together on big votes, and the second is boosting vulnerable members' re-election chances when they face voters in 2022. Mitch McConnell declined to say anything about the idea of earmarks, yesterday in an interview with press, but it was reported that the Republicans will also request earmarks as well. But at, 
there are some Republicans that have already spoke out about the earmarks idea, especially in the House of the um, House Freedoms Caucus. House Freedom Caucus Warden Davis said it was a bad idea to revive earmarks. So basically, that's all I actually got. If you guys say for uh, stimulus, um, <clears throat> so until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Please stay safe out there and let's stay strong. You know, we got this. We got to do. So, like I said, until tomorrow or Friday, whenever I decide to broadcast next and have more relevant information for you. You guys have a wonderful evening. Bye. My mother told me. Someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high in the proud.